like that. Facebook Marketplace, episode six. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media, and on this channel, I show you how to create profitable content. All right, so we are on episode six, and if you have been following the journey, I started this six episodes ago, and I had a goal to get to $5,000 cash on Facebook Marketplace. I started this whole thing because I want to show you guys that you can do it too, show you the stuff I'm selling, inspire you, maybe you have the same item, show you my techniques, share what I'm doing, and inspire you guys to do the same thing. I'm doing this here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and I'm doing it part-time because I have full-time business as a YouTuber and YouTube coach. Let's get into the numbers, everybody's favorite part. Last week, we ended it off at $2,000 even. This week, we are now at $2,945. We are up $945. We are so close to the 3,000. I'm basically calling this 3,000 because we're at 2,945, basically $3,000. So you guys, $2,000 left until we hit our goal. And now for my ledger, busy doing nothing. Yeah, right. Okay, here we go. Uh, I always find that funny when I look at it because I'm like, I'm never not doing whatever. Okay. <laughs> here we go. I've jot them down here for you guys. Here's what I've sold. I sold this ring Wi-Fi extender. So this product is actually really old and they don't really sell it very much on the market now. It's a ring accessory. You know those doorbells and stuff like that? It's a ring accessory and basically if you have the ring doorbell, it's extending the Wi-Fi range. So for whatever reason, if you don't have Wi-Fi everywhere in your house, if you get this extender, it will extend the Wi-Fi. Sold that for $10. Next, here's an interesting thing. I sold MP3 player. I sold this MP3 player for $10. And you might be thinking, who the hell buys MP3 players? Well, here's the interesting thing. This girl who's younger than me, and I know I look young, bought an MP3 player because she doesn't have a phone and she wanted to listen to music. This MP3 player is easily from 2010. And she was super excited to buy this, extremely happy. Next year, this retro handset. So remember when we used to have phones? Well, we still have phones, but I mean like they were really big and chunky and it was like an actual piece, right? Just like this one you see on the picture here. This is a retro handset that you could plug into your cell phone. So here's another unique thing here. I marketed this to seniors and older people who used to use these kinds of phones. Typically, if you're older, you had a phone like this. And smartphones today, it's like, you know, a flat piece of block that, in my opinion, actually doesn't really feel good to use as a phone. Like, I remember using those handsets and I actually really liked them. So I marketed this to older people and I would say within two hours, I sold that for 10 bucks sold this vintage electric typewriter. So this is not completely old typewriter where it was just like not electric at all. This is a little bit updated version. This is from the 80s and it's it was a Sony, I believe, a typewriter and an older lady bought this and she loved it. She thought it was so beautiful, thought it was so amazing. Sold this one for $40 and honestly, I'm so happy that she really enjoyed it. This item is my highest selling item and I sold it for someone. But to keep their privacy, I actually cannot say what this item is, but I can tell you what I sold it for. I sold it for $450 and it's not something that I typically sell. It was the first time I've actually sold this item. Within a day of listing it, I got tons of people messaging me for this. But out of respect to the person who asked me to sell this item, they asked me to keep it private, so I'm gonna keep it private, but I can tell you I sold it for $450. 
and we're pretty happy about that. That is so far my highest selling item. Next here, this baby bottle sanitizer. So this was actually my sister's and she doesn't need it anymore because she has lots of baby accessories. And this thing would sanitize the top piece of the baby bottle and it's more of a portable thing. So if you're on the go, so it's great if you're on the go and you quickly need to sanitize a bottle, sold that one quickly for 10 bucks. Sold this Energizer battery charger for $5. So initially I wasn't getting very many hits, but sometimes you need to be patient and someone will appear. Sold this one for very cheap $5, but like I said, if you're gonna come over to me, hand me money, take away something that I'm not interested in anymore, I'm down for that. Next, sold this ceiling TV mount. So this TV mount was unique because it's actually for smaller TVs. And so I marketed it for a security type of flat screen TV. It's not for big TVs. It's if you have like a monitor for security. And last items here, I sold these alarm keypads for $325. And you might be thinking, Jewel, where did you get access to all this stuff? Well, you'd be surprised what people have. Well, you'd be surprised what people have, what people have bought. Oh, well, you'd be surprised what people have, what people have bought. What Just the turn hell it is happening? <laughs> Put it on silent. Well, you'd be surprised with what people have and what they have accumulated over the years. A contact I have has a bunch of these alarm pads. I sold them to one person who bought a bunch of them. So. Those are all the items. That's what totaled to $945. Are you guys doing this with me? I am basically at $3,000. Stay tuned for episode seven. We are getting closer and closer to the 5,000. Thank you so much for joining me on this Facebook Marketplace Selling Series 2022 journey. See you guys in the next video.